And tonight's match referee is John Connolly. He's checking with the touch judges, just having a quick chat with the players. There's Mal Meninga, the Canberra Raiders coach. And Tony Curry, his opposite number, both watching from the back of the uh, stand here at the stoop. So, this match, eagerly awaited in the capital, about to get underway. David Ferner kicks the ball high. And London Broncos it is who will have the first set of six. And how about that for a first tackle? That was terrific chasing downfield on Robbie Beasley. And that's Tony Mestrov taking it up as he will do all night for this London Broncos team, as he has done throughout the course of this season. Well, it's, what we, it's what we expected from the Canberra Raiders. Very quick off the mark. One line of defence. You can see four players moving quickly. They're forcing already the Broncos down the middle of the field. Matteson was the dummy half, the runner was Mac Dunford, he was greeted though on the halfway line by Ferner and by Davico. Terrific tackling, forcing him back three or four metres, so Matteson will put the high kick in, and uh, that's Kenny Nagus, who's watching it just run dead in goal. Matteson's kick, just too strong. Well, the idea was there, and the full-back, Ken Nagus, really made a meal of that. Should have been in better position to take in on the full. So the tactics have been disclosed by the Broncos very early. The big kick from Madison, obviously key in these opening minutes. Now Ferner, David Ferner, son of uh, Don Ferner, former Australian coach, of course. Laurie Daly gets the pass away. Ricky Stewart, this is the where the danger lies. The ball back on the inside to Prittis, and Prittis is taking them all on. A good job that Roskill came back to cut Prittis down. Beautiful break, though, by Croker. And by the looks of things, that's a penalty to the London Broncos. Referee John Connolly wants a word with Scott Roskill. Well, the winger dragged the ball out when the break was made, but it was a beautiful pass by Daly, sent out the centre Jason Croker, back on the inside, and Prittis really set for the line. Good work by the winger to get through, and you'll see that it just moves the ball away as Prittis trying to get... Oh, and this is a sin bin for Scott Roskill. Well, it's a professional foul, and the referee, John Connolly, has made it very clear in the opening three minutes, or two and a half, should I say. So, the London Broncos are down then to 12 men as Ferner drives the ball in, waits for the support to arrive, and it does. Big ass now then of this London side as Martin gets the tackle in. They're down to 12 men. Lovely ball backhanded from Ricky Stewart to his prop forward, Quentin Pongia. Scott Roskill in the sin bin in the opening two minutes. Daly, lovely movement from the Broncos. Kennedy, though, was caught with a high shot. Big hit by the hooker, Terry Madison, the skipper. He did not miss. And he would have felt that. Well, this is incredible pressure on the London Broncos. Pong gives ball out the back door to Nagus. And Peter Gill has stolen it. Stolen it one on one, so he's given a fire the chance to run. Well, they soaked up the pressure there, did the London Broncos. Lucky to get away with it, really. You can see the Canberra mean business to start with. They were running the angle and bringing them back on the inside. It really was a big boo-boo, though, by Scott Roskell, who drags the ball out. Little doubt it's a professional foul. Offside against Canberra now. Well, they're eager, aren't they? And you can see that there was at least four players stood well and truly in front of the referee, John Connolly. Well, the stern face of Tony Curry, the London coach, will not be happy that Ross Girl has been deposited to the sin bin after just two minutes. He'll be happy with the fact that uh, the loose forward, Peter Gill, came up with the football and that they now have a chance to attack. Tollett pops the ball up to Mestrov. Chances here then for the London Broncos. Matteson to Russell Bowden on the charge. He bounces off one, but Pongia gets to him again Big for a shoulder. second attempt. Big shoulder there by Ben Kennedy. Tollett, good ball to Tony Martin, who's dropped it. 
and he's offside. Martin had moved upfield and was in front of the ball when it bounced off Tony Martin. Good work by the winger David Boyle. That really was crunch time. Martin just receiving the football, and you'll see Boyle launch himself. Crunch there. He committed himself. Little doubt about the man in front. Well, Martin's marbles will be still rolling from that. Not the best pass, though, but well spotted by the winger Boyle. Five minutes of the match gone then, London nil, Canberra nil, and we welcome viewers uh, all over the world, courtesy of the Fox Sports Network in the Southern Hemisphere and us here on Sky Sports. It's a pleasure to have you with us on this uh, lovely summer's evening here in the capital city of England as London Broncos take on the Canberra Raiders. They see the long ball out wide from Ricky Stewart, missing out one man. He's got such a wonderful long pass. He often misses out two and three men at a time can catch the defence out wide. Lottie Daly gets the pass away. That was Ben Kennedy again. Daly in a dummy half, and he gives it to Ricky Stewart. And Stewart clips it looking for the touchline and finds touch between Martin and Tulson Tollett. Nice weighted effort there, just got a nasty bounce at the end. You can see that Ricky Stewart wanted to make sure that that ball was in play. Australian style football. They like to keep the ball in play so that the chasers can get up there, negate the chance of an attack from the opposition. Plenty of experience as Ricky Stewart and so has this guy. First year as coach, made a good fist of it so far. He has after a dodgy start. This is Peter Gill. London, remember, playing with 12 men. Scott Roskill dispatched to the sin bin for a professional foul in the very first minute huge hit though and Canberra Raiders come up with the football here is Ken Nagus Nagus is the leading scorer in this competition that's the reason why and it's a good tackle back by Peter Gill the try was begging there but the Raiders haven't finished great handling skills here they come again this is a chance for Boyle but good defense from the Broncos Stewart into the arms then of Daly it's level pegging at the moment in terms of manpower because there's a Canberra Raider down and receiving treatment. Nagus at dummy half, gives it to Stewart. Stewart then turns it back on the inside, but good defence from the London Broncos. Tremendous scrambling stuff, it has to be as well. You can see how the Raiders are running the angle, switches of play. Here's Daly, he gets the ball in field to Burnham, but Russell Bowden and Tolson Tollett were there to greet him. Now Daly. Daly out wide it goes, a chance here, and Boyle gets in for the first try. David Boyle with the try. He missed the home game against London in the first phase, but he has certainly made his presence felt here at the stoop. And David Boyle gets the try, while London down to 12 men with Roskill in the bin. All came about from the bad mistake. It was a big hit there, and you can see they really got it through him. Dunford could not keep hold of the football, and from this, they got it out wide. Beautiful pass from Laurie Daly. There were two men on the inside. He missed those two out, and it was enough to stretch the defence. Pulled them in, and Boyle took it with glee. But what great lead-up to it. Look, he's got two men there. Martin was left in no-man's land. It was 3-1. to one. You can't really blame the youngster. Excellent finish there from Boyle. But put that down to a magnificent pass from the standoff, Laurie Daly. Well, as I say, Boyle missed the uh, first match against London, but got that try against Halifax. Underrated, really, in Australia, but highly rated by the Raiders and coach Mal Meninga. And now David Ferner is a tremendous kicker of the football, and this is going to be a real test for him. First one, and... Uh, didn't really have any chance at all of getting over the crossbar, but the Raiders are ahead by four points to nil. There you see Martin, four against one in effect, and once the long ball went out wide, it was just a matter of taking up the four points. Nice play. It's been enterprising stuff from the Canberra Raiders. They mean business. They do indeed. Laurie Daly preparing for his team to restart this match, courtesy of... David Ferner. I mentioned earlier that our pictures and our commentary is uh, seen and heard uh, across the world these days and my thanks to the Sutherford family from Auckland in New Zealand for the very nice postcard 
that was waiting for us at uh, Wigan yesterday and the contents thereof. This is uh, Martin. 35 metres away from his uh, own line, he is grounded. 40 metres now, only five metres then gained by the London Broncos. Roskill has got two minutes and 39 seconds remaining of his stint in the sin bin. And the one thing I'll say about John Connolly, Steve-O, well, he's stamped down on that professional incident by Roskill. I hope he does it later on in the match as well. Well, he made his presence known, didn't he? Straight away, there was little doubt about it. Scott Roskill knew that they had money over there. Should I say many players over there? Probably got money too, but he had the overlap and he had to bring the man down. And of course, the Broncos have uh, conceded possession again to the Raiders. That's why Laurie Daly has got the pass away, and they're so quick with their passing, so quick with their running. Nagus, though, is brought to ground by Tulson Tollett. Well, you, saw, you saw quite clearly there the way that they're using the dummy runners. Lovely and ball the way from that Stewart. Stewart is keeping it alive. Creating a lot of problems. They are on fire to the Raiders at the moment. It's only last-ditch stuff from the Broncos' defence. Ball again back on the inside. It was a great run from Kennedy once more. British shoots in to Dunley half. Here's the engineer in chief, Stewart. Daly, quick hands. The ball, though, is picked by a fire. The class is a knock-on. The ball went up there, and you can see how a fire grabbed at it. It was a knock-on, it went forward, this should be a head and feed. To the Raiders. And it is. But I'm not so sure that Jason Croker didn't lose control of that to start with. Now, the knock-on in the first instance doesn't have to hit the ground if it hits the opposition. I thought that perhaps Martin Fire was the second chance at it. Then he loses possession. And he lost it on to him. Well, a 50-50 decision. Referee read it that it was a fires knock on. Scott Roskill preparing to come back into the field of play. Meanwhile, this is Nagus who hit the ball at pace. They have to watch him. Barwick with the first tackle finished off by Gill. Here's Daly, now Stewart. And Stewart felt that from Steve Roslin. Pridis is the dummy half. He just pops the ball up for the runners. And out wide it goes again, and there is that man once more, Boyle, who gets the simplest of tries. No problems with that. I think the Broncos are feeling that maybe there was a forward pass in the build-up, but John Connolly convinced that there was not. So David Boyle, two quick tries here at the start of the match at the stoop. Wonderful football, though. They've kept this ball alive. Look how they bring it back on the inside. Not just one man, but two men came at it as soon as they... Got the man and the defence to come to him. It was all so easy. Good pass by Ben Kennedy in the end, but look how they bring it back on the inside. Pretty sick was. Then Kennedy out wide. A simple finish off to an elaborate move. They brought not just one man back on the inside, but two, and the gap was there. So Boyle with his second try of the night, and David Ferner now with a slightly easier kick. Ten metres in from touch. This time he pushes it wide of the other posts. So, eight points to nil, the Raiders lead, but two tries while Scott Roskill's been in the bin. Watch how he does the angle. Two men will come, one just a little bit later, and when he commits a man to the tackle, sucks in the defence. That is a fine try. Tremendous effort. A work move. And a deep kick-off from the Raiders. Underneath it, Martin Afire. Great chase, though. They're so quick. Roskill has returned to the fray. It's been an expensive ten minutes sitting in the sin bin. Here now goes Rosalind. There was a hint of a forward pass as it reached Rosalind. Matteson gets the pass away to Mestrov, and that's a high tackle. There was uh, Devico and Wiki in there, and it was Wiki who got to him first with yeah, the headshot. It, but it was a elbow, I think, from Luke Davico. Yeah, Wiki swinging the right arm and the elbow from Davico. Well, I always get fascinated by this, that a man can pull the ball out and get Sinbin, and you do that, and they get nothing. They either change the name Sinbin, because it's a sin, we've just seen one, 
Here's Gill. London trying to respond immediately with Gill. They're just a metre short of the line. Matteson into the arms then of Beasley, and Beasley tries to duck underneath two. Seven metres short of the line now, the Broncos, with Tolson Tollard quickly into the arms of Marden. Marden looking over his shoulder for support, but the attacking line was forming behind him, waiting for the tackle. This now is a fire. He releases the pass. Good movement from the Broncos, this. But that's the last tackle for them. Matteson. High kick over this far side. There are three here waiting for it. Roskell's one of them. The ball bounces backwards. And it's still on the last, but Martin went into touch as he flicked the ball in field to Nick Martin. Well, too many cooks spoiled the broth there. They went up, and as the ball came back, Martin had also run for the football. Little doubt that he touched the whitewash before he released the football. But the kick was a good one. But there was no one hanging back in case it just bounced rightly for them. Went into open space and the chance was gone. Pridis, big collision with Borden and then Mestrov, or Bowden as he prefers to be known, Russell Bowden. Big hit from Bowden, got away with a bit of a high shot as well with the elbow. It's getting a bit nasty out there. Warm weather and it's getting hot out there too. This is David Ferner. Pridis, lovely scampering run, the support arrives, and that is Croker, and a good tackle needed by Marden. Here's Stewart, now Daly, out wide it comes again, that was a but forward. he puts it down anyway. Forward pass, but they'll play the changeover. But you've got to marvel at, marvel at the uh, quick hands. You see Daly again in the second row of Ben Kennedy, who's having a Wow of a game, running out wide. He created that second try with the offload to Boyle. Madison gets the ball away again to Matt Dunford. A lot of these uh, London Broncos, of course, well known, I would imagine, to the Canberra Raiders. Barwick is one of them. Oh, and Barwick trying to force the pass, looking for a fire. It went forward, but it was just... An inch or two from being a wonderful Vanessa, move from Barwick Vanessa. and a fire, this. The defence. Well, he just had the legs back on the inside there. Daly desperately went defense down low, trying to keep the ball alive to the full-back Nick Marden. Half oh, a chance. Wait, Terry. And you could see there wait. that Martin of Fire would have been well and truly underneath the sticks. You've got to take your chances. And that's another one that's gone begging. Here's Ken Nagus. Nagus, the top scorer in the uh, World Club Championship, as I say, and number 15, Ben Kennedy, who has been uh, chiming into the line quite often, is the top try scorer in forward in Super League. Well, you saw there the offloads tally, 12 to 2. Shows you the skill that's an offer from the Raiders, especially the way that they move the ball out from the play the ball area. They're finding a lot of gaps in and around the play the ball. Daly will kick, and it's an invitation to Albert Fullivai to take on Martin Afire. Afire is content to allow the ball to run into touch. Always thinking Laurie Daly. Always seeking the opportunity. Into open space, that's what they need. Ensure that the defence has to be turned around. He's got all the experience in the world. Laurie Daly. He knows it's a hard task ahead of him at the moment. Tony Curry, the coach, 8-0. Incidentally, news of Tony Curry. Uh, I suppose many of you might have read in the papers that his uh, future is clouded in some doubt here. Well, he tells me he has verbal agreement on a new two-year deal at the stoop, which will be good news to some of the London players because one or two of them are uh, waiting to see what happens to their coach before committing themselves to the future of the club. But... Apparently, it's a verbal agreement, a gentleman's agreement with Barry Maranta that Tony Curry will be here for at least two more years. Well, that's positive news, and also the fact that they'll keep a few of their players now that they know. Now, and Edwards, the big question is, is he coming on early? Looks like he's itching to get up and down. Up there, he's uh, prowling up and down the sideline. Is Sean Edwards waiting to be given the nod by Curry to get on? This, meanwhile, is Nagus. That's a good tackle from Martin. That's what you've got to do, go low and bring these people down. Martin in again, a little bit of help too from Dunford and from Mestrov. 
Good work by the winger, Fulivai. Taking the pressure off the forwards. But I must say the Raiders have had the ability to find the gaps out wide as well. And that's because they're working for each other. Dummy runners switches a play like that. Ferner, that's a lovely ball round the corner to Stewart. And Stewart takes on Martin, and Martin does well. Ten metres inside his own half, he brought him down. Daly, lovely ball back on the inside to Burnham. And Burnham is burning it to the line. And there's the third Canberra Raiders try in the opening 20 minutes. Jason Burnham can play centre, standoff or second row. He's playing loose forward tonight and was the man in support there to take the easy pass and score his first try in these World Club Championship. Well, the Broncos have been learned a lesson here in the art of keeping the ball alive. Look how Daly runs across, commits the second row of Rosalind. As soon as he does that, back on the inside and Burnham, the loose forward, in for the injured Bradley Clyde. Gleefully accepted, this created so well. See how he did the dummy and the shuffle. Then back on the inside. The loose forward Burnham held the run to the very last minute. Made sure that the second row would commit the tackle and the gap was there. So that's easy for David Ferner from bang in front of the post. He gets his first successful kick of the night and Canberra Raiders are ahead by 14 points to nil. Slow first and second markers once the ball comes back on the inside. You've got to fill in the gap, and they failed to do that. You could see that both one and two marker were not working, and the result is try number three for the Raiders. Well worked again. They are just cutting them to ribbons in and around the play the ball area. He's played in all the World Club Championship matches, has Jason Burnham and Sean Edwards comes into the fray to replace Robbie Beasley. So 20 minutes gone. And Edwards, as Tony Curry promised, is on. And there he is, scuttling into dummy half. He gets the pass away to Tony Mestrov. There is also another story about uh, Edwards. He, of course, has had these hamstring problems, Steve-O, over the, the past couple of matches. And Tony Curry believes that the hamstring goes generally in the last 20 minutes of the game when there's a little bit of fatigue. So he was trying to rest Edwards before bringing him into the fray here to give him a good hour. Well, I think you no option. You realise that uh, they were being blitzed off this park and something would have to be brought up. Well, they got away with that then, did Sean Edwards, because that was forward. That was a knock-on to start with, surely. And then that was a flop, daily over the top. But I think he's got them for offside. Well, I think uh, Sean Edwards set off. Now, did it hit... It hit, it hit the player who was making no effort to get back. That's going back. Yeah, that's right. There. And that's the reason why they played it on. Well spotted by the referee, John Connolly. But getting back to that point, why Tony Kerry has brought Edwards on, because he knows that he needs some spark. Hey, roll away, roll away. Yes, they're very flat, aren't they, for a match of this importance thus far. Here's Rosalind, perhaps he'll inject something. He nearly gets to the line, he's just a half a metre short. But what would London give for a try here? Matterson will get it down! Terry Matterson poaching from dummy half and gets a simple try for the Broncos. Well, that is just what the doctor ordered, and Sean Edwards has come on, and is it a coincidence that the Broncos have got their first try of the match? Matteson, the captain, stealing one from dummy half. Quick thinking from the former loose forward and the skipper, Terry Matteson, but it was a good run from Steve Rosalind. He at least ran onto the football, and you could see that there was men all on the ground, and that's the reason why Madison took full advantage of that. The very first occasion that the Broncos have applied any sort of pressure. And with two Raiders on the ground, Rosalind, quick play of the ball. You can see that Kennedy wanted to get involved, but he went far too high. Good thinking by the skipper. They needed it. They were desperate for points, and they've come up with them. So Terry Matteson, a man who won the man of the match in the World Club Challenge win against Wigan in 1992 for the Brisbane Broncos. Matteson, the try, and Greg Barwick now, 70% successful with his kicks. This would put London right back in the hunt. And Barwick comes up with the two. 
London 6, Canberra 14. The scoreline looks a touch healthier now. Good work by the referee John Connolly here. You can see that Edwards didn't realise that it was one of the Canberra players coming back on side. And then when he allowed the advantage, you could see that there was two players who made no attempt to go back. The complement of 10 metres, good run by the second rower, Rosalind. And from here, look at the Raiders, no markers. Only Kennedy went close, but he couldn't hold it. So that's a much better situation now for the Broncos as Pongia runs the ball out. But the tackling now from London is certainly starting to stick. And that was a great tackle by Mestrov and Tollett. And the ball just came out of the grasp of Ruben Wicke. The sheer weight there as he hit the ground. And the centre, Ruben Wicke, could not control it. Well, that try will have lifted the London Broncos. And by G, they needed it. They needed some inspiration, and maybe the man there feeding the scrum, Edwards, has provided it. Out to the back of the scrum, it goes with Peter Gill. Good tackling by Ruben Wickey, though. Now Matteson, back to Gill again. The runner was Marden, the full-back. Oh, he stopped dead in his tracks by an absolutely superb tackle from Davico. Here now is Mestrov, the London Broncos' main go forward and he gets the Broncos again to the 10 meter line Edwards Gill back on the inside to Bowden all wrapped up by Pongia big hit from Pongia as well the prop forward he read that move well pretty strong defense maybe they've got to opt for the little kick well it's the last tackle surely the kick will come in now it does big crossfield effort from Terry Matheson but it's too deep wasted effort and he knows it does a skipper at a time when they were desperate to get even more points. A wasted kick, far too strong. Second crossfield kick from Terry Matteson, his second kick in general play then. This is Pongia again. Well, he, doesn't normally, Pongier. he doesn't normally do the long kicks downfield, all the attacking kicks. Oh, that's his lost the ball, good hit again. Good defence by the Broncos. They get him back to that kicking game. Then you see Edwards put his body on the line. It's normally Edwards that does the tactical kicking, but I think that with the problem with Edwards' uh, hamstring, they've taken away that responsibility, and Madison will do most of the kicking, I am assuming. Here's Dunford again, tackled by Ricky Stewart. Big prop forward, little scrum half. Here's another little scrum half, Sean Edwards. Good ball then to Tolson Tollett, and Tolson Tollett steps inside. A fire arrives in support, so too does Edwards. Back on the inside from Edwards. And it's six to go, six to go for the Broncos. Raiders must have got a hand in on that, but that was a big chance. Here's another, out wide, Madison. Second try for Madison. What a fight back by the London Broncos. And the second try for Terry Madison. They were cut to ribbons by Edwards, first of all. The referee wiped the tackle count down to zero and the Broncos took full advantage, courtesy of the captain, Terry Matheson. Magnificent try for London. Beautiful build-up work. It was Tilton Tollett that got it alive. Good work by the wing and a fire to coming from the left wing. And you can see there was interfered with, he was complaining. And that's the reason why the advantage was given by the referee. Gill, short ball there, Mestrov. Superb ball out wide. You can see that Daly was sucked into the defense. It was an open run. And the skipper in for try number two. Well, the Bronco was certainly not bucking in the first 20 minutes, but someone fed him. Someone's given him the hay that they needed. And by Joe, he's going to be hard to hold down now. So Barwick with this opportunity. And he slides over the extra two. And the London Broncos are very much back. 12 points to 14. Three tries to two in Canberra's favour, though. See how the one man has come out of the one line of defence. That means that the overlap is going to be created. Hits the gap. Mestrov out wide. Madison. Try number two for the experienced campaigner. This is the situation where the ball came back and you could see that they were holding Martin a fire. And I think that the referee 
also saw that a camera raider had just touched it before. Sean Edwards got his fingertips to it, but it would have been a penalty anyway without any shadow of a doubt. Martin Fire was held back. Well, instead of perhaps kicking the penalty and only getting two, they've been rewarded with more. Simon Wolford is on for the uh, Raiders, I notice, number nine. He has come into the fray. There he is at dummy half, but the ball was not played properly, and it was Damico who was spotted the by the referee. The ball, you're the foot. He's well, absolutely right, John Connolly. They're trying to get on with the game very quickly. It's the Australian way. We've seen it for many a week now. But Luke Davico has been spotted by the official. Head down, not a happy face from Mal Meninga. Not so much happier there, but I'm sure that Tony Kerry, a half smile. Well, it took them a long time, and uh, it may have just been a coincidence that Sean Edwards was brought from the subs bench, but it has certainly worked. They're a different side now with Edwards on the field. There are changes by both coaches, you will have noticed. And of course, both these coaches, there's Edwards really rallying the troops. But both the coaches, Curry and Meninga, are great friends from their playing days, roommates in their old state of origin days together. Barwick slides the kick over, and the scores are level. 14 points all here at the Stoop. Sweet follow through there by Barwick. Brings the scores level. And the crowd go to their feet. Broncos, 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 they cheer. They had little to cheer about in the first 20. It was all the Raiders. The Canberra Raiders were absolutely running riot. But now they've got the kickback. Yes, it was uh, 14 points to nil after 20 minutes. And don't forget that Scott Roskill was in the sin bin for much of that time. And in the last 10 minutes, the London Broncos back to strength. And with Sean Edwards on the field, it has to be said, have got it back, level pegging at 14 points all. Ricky Stewart feels the kickoff. Just tosses the ball. Then into the arms of Wiki, who drops another. And this is coming a real problem for Canberra Raiders. That's about the third time that Wiki's dropped the ball. This is Edwards. Edwards to the runner was Bowden. The ball comes out, and it went, went backwards. backwards. Play on. Well, they're forced errors. It's because of the strong defence. Here's Martin. Gets the pass away. They keep the movement going with Edwards again. Running flat across the face. He gives it a bit of width to Tony Martin. Martin taking them on up the middle. And he's still not held. Now he is under the challenge from Burnham. Edwards at dummy half. Mestrov, Edwards following up in support. And great tackle coming in from Ferner. Mestro, uh, uh, Matteson to Tollard to Martin. Martin. Good defence from the Raiders to keep the young centre Martin out. Dab through. And Gill was after that. Nagus cleaned up, though, for the Raiders. He had to be there, Ken Nagus. He was well spotted, but a beautiful little kick through. And Gill just took the wrong route. The idea was there. He bought the ticket for the bus, but I'm afraid it went the wrong junction. A little bit shorter. And Edwards' little kick would have brought yet another try for the Broncos. Terrific fight back from London, this. 14-0 down, a lot of other teams would have raised the white flag. But the London Broncos these days are built of stern stuff. Mestrov really mirroring all of that. Never takes a backward step. Here's Edwards. Out wide it goes to Bowden. Another one who will always want to go forward. Well, every time that Edwards gets the football, the Raiders are holding back. They don't know what he's going to do. They know he's the key player. That's Kim Howard. He gets the Broncos again to within three metres of the line. Matteson, he's shaped to go one way, then held on, and he's lost it. He did lose it. He tried to keep the ball alive, and that'll be Daly to play the ball. He's deemed that Daly has got it, and that's a right call by John Connolly. He did everything in his power, did Madison, to try to keep it alive. There you see, I think perhaps he was helped slightly by Luke Davico, the prop forward. 
Very hard to see, though. Here's Stewart. Almost through again by Kennedy, but good defence once more from the Broncos. And that's Wesley, the substitute, front row forward. Good movement, though. It's oh, it's Kennedy be a again. Penalty. He played that off the ground, surely. Well, they played the advantage, but it was definitely played off the ground after the tackle had been complete. Great run from Martin, though, on the zero tackle, don't forget. Well, you see the ball carrying arm. Well, there's one before it that. But I can assure you that it was tackled. Well, what a fight back by the Broncos. They've Mestron. lifted their spirits. They were finding it very difficult to get over the advantage line. There's a situation where the ball carrying arm was on the deck. Therefore, the tackle was completed. Matteson to Gill. Broncos asking a few questions of this Canberra Raiders defence here. Good work by Martin, the full back, and also good support by the hooker, Terry Madison. Edwards to Rosalind. Martin. Ross goes out wide of him. Big hit by Ruben Wickey. Good shoulder there by the centre, Wickey. Tollett. Bit too deep. That's going to go in row A. Of the stand behind the post. Well, that's a second poor kick in this first half. A chance yet again gone begging. Not perhaps to score a try, but the opportunity to apply the pressure to these Raiders' side. They're finding it pretty tough now. They really have lifted their game in defence, the Broncos. Nice run from Wolford, though. For the first time for quite a while, we actually see the Canberra Raiders on the attack but that's great defense and the way ricky stewart was bundled back there peter gill and tony mestrov terrific stuff daly gets it away to ferner ferner thought about the pass back to daly but thought better of it crunch time get into them that's what they need well they're a little bit stunned of the raiders at the moment daly hammered the ball downfield martin did well and he just scooted away from jason croker the young fullback Martin is having a fine game. Well, the Raiders were having the time of their life. Three quick tries in the first 20 minutes. It looked all over. And full credit to the Broncos, not only for their pride and their spirit, but their ability to change the tactics. Oh, oh what a big hit. Well, he must have felt that, surely, Kim Howard. Tollett. Rosalind. Well, full credit there to uh, Penalty. Kim Howard to He's not happy, get off. not happy with the tackling style of Ricky Stewart. Says it was a high shot anyway. It was. Certainly hit the face no. of Steve Rosalind. Wait till he jumps. And he was trying to do the Cumberland throw as well. That's been a problem over the years for Ricky Stewart with that type of tackle. Been penalised on many occasions. But look at that defence from the Raiders. They've got the message out. Malman Ingen has told them, come on, you've got to step it up again. Here's Howard. It's a second big crunch, but full credit to Howard. Just gets up, plays the football. Now Mestrov right down the middle again. That was over the shoulder, says the referee, that tackle. Meninga watching anxiously on. Madison, Edwards, Tollett on the burst. Good tackle by Daly. It, it had to be as well. It sure had. That's got to be a penalty. Daly in the tin, bin for 10. Yes. Professional foul. He did it to Scott Roskell early in this game. And he's going to do it to Laurie Daly. Well, we said, Steve-O, when he put Roskill in the bin, we hope he's going to do it throughout wait, wait, wait. the course of the game and be consistent. Okay. And full marks to Connolly. And fair. Held his legs to start with. That could have been the professional foul. And then when he finished it off with a little push, well, he has a smile on his face, but I don't think his coach, Mal Meninga, will have anything to laugh about when he gets them in the sheds at half-time. He knows that they are going to go into the second half with about 7 minutes and 15 seconds playing with 12 men. And there the ice said it as... Laurie Daly came off the field of play. Mal Meninga's eyes are just back to the game. 
He was obviously disgusted by Laurie Daly's effort. Big kick this, though, Steve-O, for Greg Barwick, because if he gets this, London will probably turn round ahead and have eight minutes or so to go at them in second half. He's hit the post. Well, it's play on. Here's Kim Howard again. That's a bad miss by Barwick. That's two points gone begging, but will it become four miraculously in a moment? Gill to Bowden! Bowden's over! No, he's short. Half a yard. Great defence. Too many cooks have spoiled the broth. They're playing on. He said he went backwards. Barwick. Oh, going for the line. Barwick, who missed with the penalty again. So close. And there's a right muzzle there at the play of the ball. And he's right. And Barwick went to play it, knocked it forward, and then dropped it. He was messing around with Barwick, trying to punch and pinch the uh, penalty, should I say. He took a, he took a step forward, fudged the play the ball, and rightly was given the penalty against him. There's the half-time siren and whistle from referee John Connolly. And what a fight back from London. They went 14-0 down. Then they really did get their act together. Boyle with two tries, Matteson with two tries. And Edwards, when he came on after 20 minutes, changed the course of this match. 14-0 down when he appeared. It's 14 all at half time. And a terrific fight back from the London Broncos against this star-studded outfit, the Canberra Raiders. The start of the year on this ground is still at this point intact. And Sean Edwards, the engineer-in-chief for Tony Curry, when he came out, Matteson sparked with two tries and the Broncos really got going against the Canberra Raiders and now anything is possible in the next 40 minutes. Remember, Raiders beginning this match down to 12 men, Laurie Daly with about eight minutes or so to spend in the sin bin. So this is a golden opportunity for the men from London. Well, it's important for the Raiders now that they just keep possession, play out the complement of six and make sure it's a big kick downfield. They'll want to eat up the clock as much as they can, make sure they do not concede any points whilst Daly is off the field. The Ray oh, and he loses the ball there in the tackle with Peter Gill. Martin Afire gets the ball then for the Broncos, dumped to the ground by Jason Croker. Just lucky to get away with there. You can see Gill was coming into the tackle, but it was a, it was a split second just before Gill's hand came onto the Canberra player. Well spotted by the referee Connolly there, he was correct. Andrew Hamilton come on for Steve Rosalind, this is Sean Edwards, he misses out Gillen, finds Barwick. Great tackle though on him by Jason Croker. Edwards, long ball out wide and he looks for the substitute, which is Hamilton, finds him. Matteson in a dummy half, they're in the red zone, in the danger zone and Tollett will kick it through. Oh, and he's lost his footing there, the Raider, for a moment or two. It looked as though there was a chance there for Roskell. It was Boyle who found a greasy part of this stoop ground. Well, Boyle went for it to start with and went too early. The ball got away, and fortunately there for the winger. And there you see him raising his hand to his teammates. Second effort, just in time. Forced the ball in goal, so it's a goal line dropout. Underneath it, Matteson on halfway, and he gives it to who else but Tony Mestrov. Ooh, swinging arm there by Ben Kennedy. Made the impact and then followed through with the right arm. Edwards, and he gets the pass inside to Kim Howard again. Been a tough encounter, especially in the forwards. They've really given it to each other. Gill, little half break, and support arrives from Marden. He gives it to a fire. Chance for a fire to score one of those scorches of his, maybe. Straightens it up now, looks for support, no one with him. Oh, the chance was there. The fire had two attempts to keep it alive. Gill, Gill heading to the line himself, almost there, Gill, he's over! It's now, has try. he got the ball down? I think Referee the looks. Has. Yes, the try is given by John Connolly. The point of the football hit the ground. But what an effort from Peter Gill. He's been a wonderful servant to rugby league in general especially for the Broncos. Mr. Perpetual Motion, he just does not stop this man. The second effort, upper body strength got him through. Martin Fire 
also kept it going. He had the opportunity when he was collared. He turns around, where are you? One, two. Kept his cool. Madison out wide. Gill throws the dummy. And he could see they couldn't get to him. They tried everything. Wesley tried to hold on. But Gill's second effort. It's mine and it's try time. What a superb try from the loose forward, Peter Gill. Well, they needed points while Laurie Daly was off the field and they've got them. Just what London wanted, Peter Gill's try. And what about that to come up with a try in this match, his last in the 22-all draw at the Saints. Barwick adds the extras. <laughs> And London suddenly, after being 14-0 down, are six points to the good. 20 points to 14. London are ahead. Just what the doctor ordered. Madison went to the left, brought it back to the right. They went for him. Wolford tried, so did Wesley. But the strength of the man just got him over the whitewash. So we thought that the Broncos would have to score while Daly was off, and they have. It's a different game now. David Boyle collecting the kickoff, first tackle. Wesley plays the ball quickly. Suddenly, the Raiders have a little bit more urgency. Devico goes down under the challenge. Well, Ferner Raiders, is brought down by Bowden. The Raiders are not used to this. They normally take control in most of their games. That looks like it might be... Oh, no, I was going to say it was going to be too deep from Stewart, but Marden has to pick it up, and the chase has arrived. Croker was there, good run from him, and Fulivai as well. He is Martin fire now. Got to, to make the sure they keep hold of this ball, not do anything silly within their own quarter. Use the strength. Oh, another big hit there. There's been some belters. Wesley was on the, the prop forward. That's Tollett now. Let's go down sideline and join Bill. Sean Edwards, while that conversion was being taken, came to the touchline and had treatment on his hamstring. Now, that was a concern before the game. To Coach Tony Curry kept him on the bench so that he could maybe last an hour, the belief being that his hamstrings tighten up in the last 20 minutes or so. Well, it looks as though that problem has started already. Well, it would be a blow if uh, Edwards went off the field. Howard put that ball down, but it went backwards, says the referee. No knock on, so this is the last. Well, they were fortunate there. Howard was not looking where the football had gone. It wasn't the best pass. They kept it alive. Oh, good tackle by Bowen. Good kick and chase. Six minutes of this second half gone. London ahead. Howard with the tackle there. This is where they've got to... Be alert to the danger. The Raiders are so good at scoring long-range tries from deep within their own quarter. Stewart gets the pass out wide. Here goes Boyle again. Good cover defence from Roskell and Martin to bring him down. He's on the halfway line. That's the tall figure of Ben Kennedy. Now Stewart at the heart of everything, but missing his commander alongside him, Laurie Daly. That kick, Marden took control of the situation, away from Martin of Fire. Good play by the fullback. Great positional play and also did well to keep in the field of play. He was shouting to Martin of Fire, it's mine, it's mine, and made sure it was. Got to be confident when you're out there on the football paddock. Madison, dummy half, Edwards, Tollett waits and gets. Martin was the runner, but they elected instead to go for Roskell. And that was a good tackle coming in from Kennedy, and Kennedy is penalised for not allowing Roskill to get back to his feet. Well, all that good effort by the second row of Ben Kennedy was just thrown away. You could see he's holding the shirt, not allowing Roskill to get up and play the ball. Roskill was wriggling for all he was worth to milk the penalty. Terry, what have done to them? You Andy Hamilton comes well. off, it's uh, into the blood Next bin. Time, I'm not going to warn you, I will clean like you. And so Dunford returns. Referee warning the Broncos not to hold down in the tackle, otherwise there will be penalties forthcoming to the Canberra Raiders. 
terrific hit again on Kim Howard. Well, Kim Howard, nephew of the Australian Prime Minister, John Howard, he's not afraid, Steve, of taking the ball up the middle where it hurts. And it just gets up as though nothing's happened, as though a mosquito has just bounced off him. He's coming to for some awful punishment. Here now is Peter Gill again. He pops the ball up. Scrambling defence from Ruben Wickey. Edwards looking for the runners. Tollett arrives, steps inside one. Again, desperate defence. This time it was from Davico again. Tollett looking for the penalty. Non forthcoming. Edwards, long ball out wide to Barwick. Barwick going for the line himself. And Barwick tried to get the ball down, he but he lost it. He Referee John Connolly, I think, couldn't he see. He couldn't see because he was coming from the other side of the play, John Connolly. So wisely he hands this on to the video the ref. Well, it was a good tackle as well. You can see Barwick went so close, Ooh. only fingertips away. But it was a beautiful long pass out wide by Sean Edwards. Missed out three men. And Barwick steamed for the line. We're going to get the decision. Effort in the end. Get the decision here from the video ref. I think the players have decided they've seen the replay you've been watching. That was inevitable. Well, the Canberra Raiders need to tighten up their defence. Again, we saw the half break. They're making inroads at the Broncos. And Daly back on the field of play. So the Raiders back to 13. As Nagus went on a run and was grounded on halfway by Martin. He now is Devico again. Tackled by Edwards. London enjoying the greatest share of possession in the opening 10 minutes of this second half. Daly, lovely ball from him, his first touch. Good defence though from Gill. We realised the short pass was coming through. Croker had nowhere to go. This is Stewart, little chip over the top. Well watched by Martin. Good play by Martin there. London Broncos very rarely play with a sweeper. And you can see that Martin was well up to it. And also up to task. Mattison at dummy half. Here's Howard again. Well, patience, patience is the key, Eddie, with these, both sides. London, of course, they know that they are in the driving seat. Good play by a fire. Keep it in then. Yes, he was getting bundled into touch, but the ball stayed, courtesy of the flick out the back to Barwick. Did very well there, did the winger. Well, I say it's patience from both sides. Canberra realised they have the stars and the speed. Martin, Martin, out wide to Roskell. Good hit, really often. Release him. Good movement though from the London Broncos, switching the direction of the attack from one side of the field to the other. Tollett then steps inside one challenge and steps through two more. Great run and support was there. To six. six to go. Roskell retains possession for the Broncos. It was a Canberra arm that got there first. Well, it was a gamble there by Tolson Tollett. They got away with it. Here's Gill. Gill showed it to Barwick, then gave it to a fire. There's a big gap opened up for a fire. Well, but it was quickly he... closed. Well, I don't know why he didn't go for it. Seemed to step and come back the same way. Bowden straight up the middle again. Terrific run. Brave run from Bowden. This is Matteson. Edwards just held up short. Desperate defence from Canberra. Well, another try for London, it could be all on. Here's a big drive in from Mastrov. And again, Nagus is there, marshalling his defence as well. Matteson to Tollard, and Tollard gets there! Try for Tolson Tollard! Tremendous play from London Broncos. They would simply not be denied. They got six extra tackles, and my word, did they make use of them. Tollard with the try is first in the World Club Championship. The 1996 British Lion Tourist comes up with a valuable four points. Well, this is the man that they say wants to go back and play a rugby union, but he's playing rugby league at its best tonight. This is the break that put him on the situation. You could see that he kept the ball alive. He was very fortunate that Kennedy touched it. He went back to six. Matheson off the, off the floor, and Tollett has taken the try. And the crowd have gone absolutely crazy here at the Stoop. Running onto the football, it was a wonderful pass from Madison. This is the hard work that you can see from the forward, Borden. 
bang, didn't take a step, didn't Madison. Well, Tolson Tollett got a try against Sheffield last week, but it will not have been more valuable than that, and Barwick will add the extra two. And suddenly this match is beginning to swing the Broncos' way. A 12-point lead, 26-14. Well, with all, within all the excitement, did he actually get this down or did he drop it? Tell you what, I reckon he dropped it. That's no try, I'm afraid. Well... He didn't go to the screen, and he should. And well, had he done, we wouldn't be celebrating, Steve-O. A lucky try there to Tollett. It was only on that last replay that he caught my eye. But let's all understand that the referee does not have the aid of the replay, never mind the slow motion one. But that was no try for mine. A fortunate break there for the Broncos. Well, we've had so much going against us in this competition, Stevo. I suppose the European Super League can be excused for taking any little gift of charity that pops its way. Well, the Broncos won't be minding, but I'm sure that uh, the Canberra Raiders camp, including Mal Meninga and the players, will have plenty to say about that when they see the replay. Long way to go, 12 points the gap, but Laurie Daly is back, and he got that ball away neatly to Wesley. But it was good defence from the Broncos, who I fancy now have a sniff of glory. That's a lovely little chip over the top from Jason Croker. It was on the last. And Jason Croker didn't like the decision. Well, that tackle was complete. Nice play, though, by the centre. Shown some neat touches, hasn't he, Jason Croker? And you could see that the ball-carrying arm had touched the ground, so the tackle was complete. Did he have a hand on him? Edwards is coming off, he's obviously got problems with the hamstring. Robbie Beasley goes back on to replace him. And the crowd rise to Sean Edwards as well, they might. Because since he has been on after 20 minutes of this match, it's gone from 14-0 down to 26-14 up for London Broncos. Now, is that a crucial moment in this match? Well, he's going to take a big effort now by Robbie Beasley. Remember London, of course, they suspended. Josh White, their regular halfback, for a fortnight for missing training. Maybe he could be wondering. Oh, oh that ball stood up. Oh, and Roskill just got to it second. But what a bounce that was. And how brave was the Canberra Raiders man? It was David Boyle who came back at just the right moment. But body on the line, Steve. -O. Unbelievable stuff there. And he was injured in that attempt, David Boyle. Full credit, though, to Scott Roskell. He chased with a lot of vim and vigour. And that's the reason why Boyle is feeling pretty sore. You can see him in the background receiving treatment. He'll limp into position. Wolford to Stewart, and Stewart looks wide for Daly, who looks further wide for Ruben Wickey. That's a lovely ball. And this now is Kennedy, and Kennedy motors down the touchline. Wonderful tackle from Tony Martin. And it had to be a good tackle too because the Broncos were stretched. They still are. And it's with Daly. Daly taps the ball across the face of play. A fire cleans it up. And a fire steps away from one. Almost gets through two. Bravely gets to the 10 metre line. Beautiful tackle there from Martin. He had to get back there. It was a good run by Ben Kennedy. But I think Laurie Daly took the wrong option. You can see that the Broncos' defence was slow to come back after the break by Kennedy. And the kick was far too deep. It would have been better served to get the ball out wide. There were plenty of players there. This Kim Howard really only knows one way, and that's straight through anything that's ahead of him. Well, I don't know whether he's got a nickname, but I think we'd change it to battering ram tonight. He just gets up and says, when do I run next time? Not just yet, because it's with Gill. Now it's with Robbie Beasley. He's grounded on the halfway line. Another big kick downfield. Roskill's after this. Boyle gets it. Flicks the pass inside to Nagus. Nagus then keeps it coming wide once more to Fully by But tremendous chasing. Andrew Hamilton and Martin Afire. Here's Nagus again. They're getting amongst them. They're not allowing the Canberra Raiders to take control. Well, it was all the Raiders in the first 20 minutes. It looked as though they were going to coast away for an easy win. 
and things have changed. Long way to go yet, Wolford backing up Stewart, he dumps the ball into the arms of Daly, beautiful hands from Ferner, here goes Ben Kennedy again, Kennedy's a danger, big, fast, hard-running forward, lovely hands again, tremendous defence back though from Toller to bring Ruben Wickey down, Nagus has joined the line, here's Daly, now Stewart, there's a man on the overlap but they go the other way, and that is David Wesley's haul down by Barwick. Did well there, Barwick, to make sure he got the football first. Here's not... Nagus, Nagus to Stewart. Stewart delayed the pass, and it was Burnham who was all wrapped up by Mestrov. by Mestrov. Prop forward, picked him out. Last Here's tackle, kick. kick to the air and the corner from Stewart. Oh, and they missed it. Roscoe missed it. Wiki missed it. Who's it come off? It's come off the radar, says John Connolly. Not happy with it, Wiki. I think it was Roscoe that got a foot to it. A hand to it, should I say. And that's the reason why Wiki is a bit upset about it. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's go. Wiki gets to it first. Yeah, Wiki first. He lost control. Well, we have the advantage yet again. And have no complaints about that one. Okay, roll away. Boyle goes off and Noah Nandruku comes on. Well, it just goes to show you that the Camera Raiders oh, still right. have the okay. power out there. Again, another good break by Ben Kennedy, who's had a fine game. Howard, the ball shoots out, but Madison's there to pick up the pieces. Play on, says the referee. Here's Madison to Gill. Good long ball out wide to Martin. Martin then keeps the movement going with Tollett. Oh, what a game he's having, Tolton Tollett. He's got to be happy with him, his coach, Tony Curry. Gill. Very pensive though. That's Hamilton with the headband. Remember, he went off in the blood bin earlier. Gill chips over the top. An invitation for a fire. And a fire accepts the invite. The ball comes loose. That's a try for Barwick. I think the referee might go for the video. And he's going to hand it on to the video referee. But Barwick thinks he scored the try. The Broncos thinks he scored the try. But was there interference? as a fire chased that ball. Beautiful kick from Gill, and a fire went for it. He put his body on the line, and that is a try for mine. Definitely. They are both chasing for it. The winger goes down and loses full control. That is play on, and Barwick, he's so quick. Full of eye made a real meal of it. He did put his body on the line. It did not come up trumps for him. It did for that fellow. Greg Barwick then watches the big screen as everybody in this stadium does. This is the biggest call of the night. The try's given! Barwick gets the four, London Broncos increase the lead. This has got the makings now of a very special night. Greg Barwick with the try. He looks the coolest cucumber at the soup. Don't leave your seat. Here's the kick from Gill. See the referee, arm raised, it was the last. Full of eye and a fire went for it. It came off the Canberra winger. And on this occasion, the support play held back. Let's see what the outcome. The outcome is that Barwick poaches the try. That could be the final nail in the coffin. What a wonderful option by Gill, who's had the most outstanding game both in attack and defence. Full credit to Albert Fulavai for putting his body on the line. He did not get the bounce he needed. This guy did. Well, he's a tremendous scorer of tries, is Greg Barwick. He had to rediscover his form this year, though, in the Alliance team. That's the reserve grade. And my word, he has found it with a vengeance. And now Barwick, the scorer of the try, on the nod of the video ref, has this kick for another two London points. Difficult angle, five metres in from touch on this near side, but Barwick, a right-footed kicker, so the right side of the field as far as he's concerned. He just fades it the wrong side of the post. 30 points to 14, though, the gap. 16, and are they on the verge of an historic night again? The experience of the loose forward, Peter Gill, realising that Nagus is all at sea, he's in the middle, 
and full of eye failed to drop back it was wonderful thinking okay lady luck shined on them on this occasion but you force your own luck and it was gill the option was superb and that man finishes it off well they came up with the most wonderful win against wigan here two weeks ago are they going to top it off as David Kraus comes back on, or comes onto the field rather, for Tony Mestrov. There's Kraus, and he misses the first tackle on Wolford. He got a hand to that. That'll be play on. And it is still play on. Beasley picked up the pits. Well, he's a talented the substitute, Simon Wolford. Made a break early. You could see how it came off Kraus. It went backwards. Also from Martin, the full back, that was backwards. Tremendous. It was great to see that London were working hard for each other. Now, this is a point that I've been working for the one point. The field goal. You'll see the heads go down even further in the Raiders camp. Howard again, straight up the middle. Nearly went without the head then, but he gets up again and plays the ball to Matteson. Lovely ball back. And so close was Robbie Beasley. Matteson again. Out wide it goes. Missed pass. Desperate defence against Martin and London are again camped on that line. Chances here for Hamilton. Ball over the top. It just wouldn't fall for Scott Roskill. Well, the option with a kick, perhaps they would have been better served to set up for that one point. Remember, the side who scores these days, they kick off, they could have kicked the ball deep into. Oh, he's lost that. Wasn't seen by the official. Either by the touch judge or the referee. So the Raiders play on. See the impact there, and he Get just lost friend. it for a minute. The Croker. But getting back to that one point, it would have really had the Raiders' heads going down. Well, I'm sure you have seen plenty of candidates in the red, blue, and yellow for man of the match, and indeed in the green for Canberra. There's the number to ring: 0891 66 55 25 as London get the ball back. You might be on the way to Wembley, courtesy of the World Club Championship, for the first test against Australia, Great Britain, Australia, November the 1st. Well, they saw Larry, Larry Daly trying to keep this ball alive. The Raiders realise they've got to throw everything now. Oh, what, what a break, a what a break, and what a try from Roskill. Scott Roskill comes up with a magic try. He cut them to pieces, and Tony Curry. A lovely little smile of contentment because Roskill just cut through the Raiders' defence like a hot knife through a half a pound of butter. And Roskill has maybe given the Broncos here the win. Well, his wife gave birth just recently, and what a way to celebrate. I hope the little fella's watching. Beautiful run by Scott Roskill. He's back to his best. The Raiders... For years and years, have been so proud of their defence. They just wilted away. Do not take anything away from the effort from the winger who came in down the middle, in and out, shake it all about. Four points is what matters. Five in this competition for Scott Roskell, who is in quite sensational form. And look at the reaction on the faces of the London Broncos. They know that they are on to something big here in the capital. Barwick from almost bang in front, five out of seven tonight for Barwick. We thought the one right on the stroke of half time could be costly, but he has more than made up for it with that and the try he scored. And look at that scoreline, 36 points to 14. Incredible. And they're loving it here at the Stoop. Well, there you see Roskill moving across. Beautiful stuff. You could see the huge gap that was left there. There was four men in defence, but they failed to fill in, and the winger delightfully takes the try. Roskill with the try. London with a 36-14 lead. I'm sure that this will rock the World Club Championship to its very foundations as British returns for the Canberra Raiders. The big question now, can the Broncos 
hold on for the last quarter of an hour. Traditionally, when European clubs tend to just run out of steam, but there looks like there's no way this London Broncos side will run out of steam. What have I said? Luke Pritis drops the ball. Well, it's oh. a happy bite, but Ben Kennedy deserves more than this. This second rower has run his blood to water. Kennedy again making the break. And too many cooks okay. spoiling the broth there. Luke Pritis, the hooker, couldn't drag it in. Come on, boys, the clock. Let's go, let's go. And Nick Marden looks Back like he's got a problem maybe with the arm. He is coming off, and Mestrov well, comes back on. So, a problem Vicky. for the it's London right. fullback. Get off him, Ferner, Ferner, get off him! 67 minutes of this match gone. That's high from Pritis. A little bit of frustration from Pritis, maybe. Well, how many times has this guy got to take oh, punishment? Back off. Bang! Back off! And you saw there Pongia added to it. And it's surprising me that John Connell is not reporting the man. Well, he said there are 10 minutes left in this match, and you won't be seeing the full 10 minutes out unless you get those tackles down, Mr. Pritis. Well, not only that, the prop forward, Quinton Pongia, he threw in the elbow as well, just for measure. Go, 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 go. Well, so what, a great, what a great effort, Eddie, from the London Broncos. At a point halfway through this first second half, should I say, they could have just closed it down. They didn't. They've kept the ball alive. Full credit to all the players out there. And it's the highest score by a European team in this competition so far. And what's more, the Broncos as they are eight metres from the line, are looking for more. Matteson to Bowden. Bowden almost used Matteson then as a shepherd. Howard up the middle again. They put the ball down. Knock-on will be the decision from John Connolly. Well, Beasley on the inside, and again, this Kim Howard receiving more punishment. Well, he's a moving punch back, this kid. They really have given it to him. And he just shakes his head and says, let me have it again. Nagus, great swarming defence again from Bowden and Kraus. Around about 8,000 people inside this ground, which is a terrific effort from the London Broncos. And they will not forget this night in a hurry if it stays like this and with tackling like that from Hamilton it might well stay like this it's been outstanding the way that they have worked as a unit as a team the spirit is there the pride is there and the skill has come to the fore in Mag this second half magnificent tackle then from Martin on David Ferner, this is Wolford, up the middle he goes again, Wolford, such a difficult man to put down, Stewart's there in support, Daly, how on earth did he rake that ball in, they've got a 3-2 to two overlap here, a dab through by Pritis, is it going to stand up for Pritis, yes it is, try for Luke Pritis, the game's not over yet, Pritis with the try, how on earth did Laurie Daly keep that ball in his possession? He must have Velcro stuck to his fingers, but in the end, Pritis, with a kick through, got the try. Good work from Walford. Simon Walford has shown his skill. Upper body strength there, they went far too high. Five men is shirked off, six was Madison. Beautiful take there by Laurie Daly. Quick hands out wide. And what quick thinking by Pritis. He's a fine player, is Luke Pritis the hooker. But Daly, he took that pass from Ricky Stewart, but this is sheer skill. Well, they're not finished. They will not throw the towel in, will the Raiders? David Ferner then, just one out of three tonight. Oh, he's missed it again. Well, we've watched the tapes coming in from Australia all this year, and David Ferner is normally as regular as a metronome with that right boot of his, but not tonight. There you see the defence with the backs to the attack inside, the second marker not in place, and that's the reason why Pritis set off 
or should I say Wolford, as Prittisett scored the try. But what a great effort from Wolford. That was a fine effort, fine try. They went for the short kick-off there and looking for Ben Kennedy. Again, second row of Ben Kennedy. Just couldn't get to it. It was a good option by the Raiders. They needed possession badly. They know that they need points and there's not many minutes remaining. Well, the referee has given a penalty for offside at the kick-off. So the Broncos find touch on this near side. Just to repeat the uh, wait, the wait, fact wait. about David Ferner, who is usually so regular with the goal kicking. 11 goals against London in the first phase. It was a new club record, but only one successful kick from him tonight. And of the match, your calls now invited, please. I'm sure there are many, many candidates out there. Eight minutes to go then, London 36, Canberra 18, on the verge of something big. Let's hear from Sean Edwards, who's with Bill. Sean, eight minutes to go, but not home and dry yet? Not home and dry, no, but I think with uh, the last 40 minutes of football, we've totally, you know, probably outclassed Canberra. Um, we've got behind early on. Then uh, we sort of just took over from about 20 minute mark. You've been involved in some pretty titanic struggles against the Aussies. How does this one compare? Oh, it's fantastic with me, you know, personally. You know, I get on and I uh, thought my form was pretty good when I got out on there. Been happening with form recently, just this hamstring problem I just can't tend to shake off, but once I get out on the field, they don't feel so bad. Well, there you see that the London side was shaping up for the one point, but they forgot to get the foot on it. Beasley it was. Well spotted by John Connolly. Got to play it with the foot. Well, there's been some big hits out there on and both some, sides. Some big planes up above, by the way, Steve, by the sound of things. But we've got now Nagus with the run. They simply cannot take the foot off the pedal, the London Broncos. They're spreading it out wide, trying to stretch the Broncos. This is Daly. Tulson Tollett and Andrew Hamilton. Great tackling from them. How on earth did he hold on to that? <laughs> Terrific defence. Roskell, scorer of the tries and grabbing headlines. But with defence like that, that will please the coach. Oh, tremendous stuff. They can feel very proud of themselves. He's back to top form. Scott Roskell. That's it, That's it. Those the tens. He's well pleased, isn't he? But it's a, a long six minutes and ten seconds to go for Tony Curry. But he led them to that great win over Wigan here a fortnight ago. And you know, Steve-O, this is going to top it off if the Broncos hang on for the win. One of the best sides in the world, coached by that man there, Mal Meninga. who must be wondering what on earth has happened to the green machine. Well, it's turned an embarrassing shade of red, I'm afraid. They really have been outplayed by the Broncos in the second half. Well, for the last hour of the match, really. Matteson tried to get the pass away and it flicked off a Canberra Raiders arm and went back to the Canberra defensive line. Here they come again then. Oh, tremendous ball and it's this man, Kennedy. And Kennedy gets the pass away and here's another try. They're appealing for a double movement, and no. the referee will take a look. No doubt in my mind, he didn't move the, the arm, didn't, didn't have to. It looks like Wolford, I think, that's gone in. Stop the clock. Now the momentum. It's Luke Prittis. Oh, so pretty sorry, the hooker. It's a penalty if he made a double movement. Now then, he bounces down. Does momentum take him? Does he move the arm? I think he might have, just slightly. Well, that's the reason why we have the slow motion replays for the video referee. Well, it was a big call up the other end not long ago for the try for London. Watch this decision now. No try, says the video ref. And Luke Prittis and Mal Meninga don't look convinced that well, that was the correct decision, but I think the arm just moved, didn't it, Steve-O? It just moved and had the second do at the line. 
just slightly. Just there. Yeah, full, he pushes full, the ball over. With full credit, though, to Greg Barwick. He got back in time, but again, we saw the quality of the second rower, Ben Kennedy, yes. who's made so many breaks tonight, but have not come up with the tries at the vital times. Four and a half minutes to go. It would have been a big last four minutes if that try had been allowed to stand. But there's Kim Howard again. What a willing workhorse this young man is. Well, I don't know how much they're paying for a game, but he's certainly earned his coin tonight. He has just never stopped. If ever a man epitomized the spirit, he certainly has. Matteson, the dummy half. He is Bowden again. Spins, gets the pass away. Well, a bit untidy there. Bowden trying to keep the ball alive when really it... And it, yes, and Daly, Daly got, got a down. hand to it, and the referee has wiped the tackle count down to zero. This is, that, is Andrew Hamilton. He's had a fine game, John Connolly. He's uh, really been eagle-eyed. Well, he's missed very little, has he? Hamilton Go has on, stayed guys. down. Derek, get the ball off him! Get the ball off him! You see the referee Connolly hey. saying, get on with it. Well, if an injured player can't play the ball, they've got to allow someone else to get it. Martin! Oh, Tony Martin! Eventually hauled down. And it's that man, Ben Kennedy, who has been all over the field tonight for the Raiders. Tollett spinning and turning. They can't put Tollett down. Stewart does, but head there high was a head-high swinging arm. Bit of a nastiness coming into the game there. Tolton Tollett has had a fine match. You could see there the swinging right, the head just shook. And he would have felt that, Tolton Tollett. Frustration etched on the face of Ricky Stewart. The man who, in the first 20 minutes, was instrumental of cutting the Broncos to ribbons. But since then, we have seen very little of the skills of the international Ricky Stewart. So, needless to say, Berwick, Berwick, the London Broncos will take all the time in the world here with this penalty. Always the a bit clock of a ticking down. Always a bit of a problem as well. Barwick can see himself on the huge screen. Yes, he'll have to try and uh, close his right eye as he swings the boot at this. Keep his head down, as they say in another sport. Head down, eye on the ball. And the rewards are there for everyone to see. Barwick with the kick then. Gets the extra two there, Barwick, for the penalty. And I think these people at the Stoop tonight will be celebrating a win. Well, that was a 9-9, wasn't it? Not for the hole-in-one, but the hole-in-two. Two points there. He has to be very pleased, Tony Kerry. And to be fair to the Broncos coach, he did say when he returned from the first leg down under of the World Club Championship that he was sure that both himself and the players had learned so much and that the crowd in this country would reap the benefit of the skills that would be on display. Well, not even the Raiders can come back from this, a 20-point deficit with a minute and a quarter to go. So London have struck another blow for the European Super League. And when you consider, in the first phase, we got three wins. In the first weekend of the second phase, we've got three wins under the belt already i hope now that one or two people will look at this competition in a much more favorable light it's been a wonderful effort from the broncos from oldham and leeds british try to hack that ball forward they're keeping on coming this is nandruku tackled again by martin who's had a magnificent match young tony martin Half all, a minute to go. They've all worked hard, especially in defence, but again, we saw the skills of Pritis. He's had a fine match too, but they just couldn't find a way through. Brilliant pick-up from Daly. And the fire tackles Daly, and who attracts three more. It was on the last tackle. They went for the power play, couldn't get the kick in. It's the turnover. London will finish this match with the ball in their hands. Well, Martin, just go down. Don't do anything silly. Well, he's teasing them. And the 
they got to him in the end, Ricky Stewart put him on his back. But Tony Curry celebrates a truly magnificent victory for the London Broncos here. 14-0 down after 20 minutes. Enter Sean Edwards. 14 all at half time. Early try from Gill. Another try from Tollett. One more from Barwick and another from Roskell. 38 points to 18. And what a night this is for the London Broncos. What a night for European Super League. The Canberra Raiders beaten, not just beaten, but taken to the cleaners, it must be said, by this London Broncos side. And the London Broncos go to the top of Pool A. Matteson waving his players to go over to the main stand and thank this 8,000 crowd for their support. Support that must surely now grow. Wins against Wigan, wins against Canberra in successive matches here at the Stoop. And this London Broncos side have done everybody in Europe proud. So is that man, Tony Curry with Bill. Tony Curry, your side has done you proud tonight. Sure have, haven't they? Uh, look, I'm just so proud of the guys. We worked all week on defence, and uh, I think you saw the benefit of it tonight. Um, even though Canberra did cut us apart a bit, I, I love the way the boys kept turning up. And, uh, you know, it was a case of uh, keep Canberra within their half, and uh, when we get the, the turnover of ball, we'll, we'll fall over the line. And we've been doing that uh, in the last month, and I'm just so happy for the guys, so happy for the people here as well, and it's a really big night for London. But to lose a man in the first couple of minutes to the sim bin to go 14-0 down. You can't have thought at that stage it was going to be your night. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't think it was going to be my night uh, at that stage, but look, we're a very good team and we're developing into a team with pride and, and you can see the, the, the way they play and the passion for each other. And I think that really speaks volume. We came back from Australia with a great passion for each other and uh, I think it was a great three weeks where we discovered ourselves. You've beaten Wigan, you've beaten Canberra Raiders in the space of a few weeks. I mean, this really does put London Broncos on the map, doesn't it? It really does. Um, you know, but it's a week-to-week -week proposition again. I'm, I'm going to be all blasé about it, but we're back on the drawing board for Brisbane next week. Thanks, Tony. Congratulations. Thank you. And